three two? I know you said three one comp supported the three one in the area. Uh, for the money and the the layout, we'd have to do it. We'd have to get a lot more intensive, and that would probably add another six seven thousand bucks to the rehab. And you know, because it will perform as a three one, <coughs> it saves us some money. Bigger spread for ten. That's why. Well, the other thing is too is you. You know, if you start getting too much money into it, you may not get it back out. You know, that's a pretty substantial additional cost to add on a, a another bathroom. Uh, but yeah, you got to make it worthwhile. Now, if this home was in a a nice community that you know warranted the the extra cost, then you might consider doing that. Ted, you said something about blueprints earlier. Now. You and Rehab King come up with blueprint yourself. You guys have the I'll, I'll source it. How does the blueprint work? Uh, Jason's there. Okay. You. Okay. I meet them here and I tell them what, what mm -hmm. my plan is. So Tim and I will go over what changes we're making and room modifications for plan changes. Gotcha. Um, and then basically I meet the architect and say, okay, I need a wall here. This bathroom goes. We're doing this to here and that. And they draw it up, send it to me. We kick it around, request revisions if there is any. They do it, but we engage in actual architects. And that step is already done, and we've agreed on it, and it, it's going to the city now for a permit. So that's the next step, um, and then the permits take how long? Uh, it should only take two to five days. So. Often they'll ask for additional information for this one. We're not doing a room addition or we're not adding additional food, so we can forego uh, elevation plans and things like that, which would be drawn to the exterior. So you have to do the existing uh, of what you're starting with, and then you have to submit a proposed drawing. Uh, so for this one, it should take two to five days. So I went out and got a new survey when I bought it. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but there's this awkward looking fence line on this side that's got right down in this back corner, it's got a zigzag of about a foot and a half, two foot, and then goes back, and I'm thinking, looks like somebody tried to steal a piece of my land from the neighbors, you know, when they put a new fence in, but sure enough, it's, it's by the survey. Uh, the other thing that came out in the survey is, is um, this fence line out here, this chain link fence, is in over the easement with the city turns out that was addressed many many years ago and i have the letter by the city that that agreed to leave it as is because it was grandfathered in okay uh so what are we doing for repairs um I'm not sure how we want to do this, but is there anybody that hasn't already went through and looked at the house? Okay, you're welcome to go, go mingle around and take a look so you can see what it, what it looks like. Um, originally coming in, we were gonna try and leave the wood floors. We decided against that uh, because there is some damage 